He just ate. Oh, he's about to eat. He's about to eat. He. All right. This is when we're about to catch him, guys. Right here. Yes. 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 Here we go. Right here. Oh, it's a good one. Oh yeah. Freaking good. Oh my god, it's a freaking good one. This is a tank, baby. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. I hope you guys are having a great week. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some canal fishing, but before we even hop into that, I actually have three packs of soft plastic worms right here that I'm gonna be giving away to y'all. If you guys wanna enter the giveaway, be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button, hit the like button on today's video, and if you could, drop a comment down below on videos that you guys wanna see next, and I'll be picking one lucky winner here shortly. And if you guys would like to, go follow me on the IG, man. At Kicking Their Bass TV, I'll have the at in the description box down below. But yeah, I was getting a lot of DMs of people saying, Noah, it's been so hard for me recently to catch some fish. And I'll tell you, it doesn't matter the time of year, a bass always loves to eat a worm. So that's what we're doing for today's little giveaway. Just three packs of these worms. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop into today's video. We went canal fishing and I ended up catching my first bed fish of 2022. Not only that, but I had a juicy little spot um, towards the end of the video and ended up slaying the bass and ended up landing a really good fish towards the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch it all the way through. I hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, y'all, we getting to work today. And dang, I only got a couple left. That's not good. All right, so I'm throwing a rage crawl. It's actually a black and blue rage crawl. If you guys want to get a discount on any of the striking baits, I have my discount codes and links down below. But we're rigging this up on a standard Texas rig. I just got a black quarter ounce bullet weight on a 3 eye extra wide gap hook with this black and blue rage crawl. We're going to have to go slow today. The fishing has not been the best for me. Um, I don't know if it's just because I haven't found the right spots or if the fishing's just been tough. The weather has been a little iffy it's been so inconsistent the weather's just been eh i don't know but we're gonna get to work today guys and cover a lot of water and really go finesse for these bass i'm hoping i can find some on bed here in florida because i don't know i i just have a feeling that i could find some really big bass on bed but i'm gonna go slow today like i i, I don't know if we're not catching them on a texas rig then we'll definitely switch up to like a chatterbait or or something of that sort even a spinner bait but for the time being i'm really just gonna hunker down with a crawl and cover a lot of water put a sanko on if i have to and just all on out try to catch as many bass as possible so let's go ahead and get started there's a canal right here behind this fence and uh we're gonna see if we can catch some big ones all right first look at this canal oh oh my god there's freaking a lot of them right there i'm gonna catch one like a top water bro right here right here oh he's behind it Oh my god he's not big but yo okay that is first look on the canal to see some dang fish swimming around that is like yeah that's what we want baby i kind of spooked them they're hanging out in the shopping cart and there's a bunch of grass and pads around them there's like multiple they weren't big they're about a pound but still i'll catch whatever right now look at look at the boils right here Boys, I really think we're about to get on some right here. That looks like a dang bass on bed right there. I might be going crazy. It is windy today, guys. It's really hard for me to see in the water. Gosh, that looks so good with that fresh water coming out, guys. That's like money. I could totally see a big bass sitting up on there. A lot of grass, a lot of schlock. I don't know what this is. This is a bass, it's gotta be. I can't see him anymore. There's one under this grass patch right here. Oh, there's a bass right there. Good bass, good bass. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it, boys. It's literally like a three pounder. Wait. <laughs> Wait. That's a bass, bro. What? Oh, that's an armored catfish. I'm not used to those things, guys. I thought that was a bass. So what is under here? Is it a bass? I feel like he would have definitely ate my bait. Oh, it is an armor catfish. There's tons of those, man. There's, I had two of them already trick me. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Should we just film an armor cat video? Would he eat it? 
All right, those are kind of cool. If you guys know how to catch the armor catfish, let your boy know in the comment section down below. I'd actually love to film a video of doing that. Every time I come to this canal, I see those things, but I just don't, I don't really know how to catch them where I've never really targeted them. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bass on bed right here. I thought it was. I just spooked him, but I'm gonna stay far off, guys. Yeah, he's looking at me. Boys, this will be my first bed fish of the year. It's like a solid two to three pounder. Here we go, guys. I'm catching this bass. We got to. For this. Oh my gosh, he pulled up on it right when I reeled it off. He's very territorial, actually. Yeah, uh, usually these bass, you know, they're, they'll are they kind of spook off and they won't even pull back up. He's he's looking and he's eyeballing me right now. I guess about to get to the point to where he's going to eat. I just got to make him mad. He keeps looping around me. That's exactly what I want him to do. I, I'm trying to get him fired up. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yep. You're mad now. I want to eat it right there, buddy. Eat it. He's nose down on me right now, guys. Here he goes. I think he just put it in his mouth. Yeah, he did. He just ate it. Oh, he's about to eat it. He's about to eat it. He, all right. This is when we're about to catch him, guys. Right here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go, right here. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, he's about three. Mm, let's go. That's a four pounder. He's not even three. Oh, yes. Look at that Florida strain bass, baby. Oh, man. No freaking way. My first bed fish of the year is a high three pounder. I literally thought you were two and a half pounds, buddy. And you are close to freaking four. Wow. Thank you for biting, buddy. That is a beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful Florida strain bass. I knew the moment after that cast that we were about to get her to bite. And boy, we just got us a nice one to start off the video. Wow, first bed fish of 2022. Man, that is exciting. I appreciate you, buddy. You are a healthy dude. I appreciate you biting. I'm gonna get you right back in the water. His bed's actually right there in front of us. I don't know if you can see it. These clouds did get in front, but we're going to get him right back in the water right here so he can swim back on his bed. There he goes. Wow. What a catch, guys. First bed fish of 2022. Rage Crawl, Crawl has yet again pulled it out for us. I'm pretty sure that my first bed fish of... 2021 was on a rage crawl as well which is freaking sweet this bait right here that had to have been him i don't know why he's jumping like that it's odd <laughs> the problem we have now is the sun is behind the clouds and i literally can't see anything and the, we played that fish perfectly the, the trick is you don't want them to really see you like you can still catch the bass but i played it as if that fish would be very finicky. I played very far off the bank. I didn't really let her see me and uh, ended up catching her. So I actually saw the bed. I didn't see a fish on it. But when I flipped on it, I saw her move and I was like, yes, that's exactly what we want. But I'll tell you right now, there's definitely gonna be another bed with a bass on it. We just have to keep our eyes peeled and see if we can find us another one. Maybe we'll find us like an eight, nine pounder on bed. There's so murky over here. I'm not gonna be able to dang see one if he's on the bed. I also see a big old shadow. We're at canal number two. I didn't find any more bed fish at that first canal. That was like literally the only one. So, I don't know. It's a great sign that I found one on bed, but it's also a weird little sign that I only found one, but I know that he's not the only fish on bed. Like the fact that we have one on bed like that, there's definitely another one. So we're going to keep fishing here and see if we can get, you know, some good fish on the bank and hopefully find some more on bed. I'm really 
really, really, really wanted to catch some bed fish after catching that one. That just like put a fire in my belly right now. So um, I'm like just in the mood. I don't even want to cast for bass anymore. I literally just want to catch bed fish. So let's start walking this canal. This one looks a lot different than the other one. It is the same canal, but it's on a different side of it. So let's keep on walking this and uh, let's see if we spot any bass up shallow or any fish on bed and kind of get to work. going on all right boys canal number three there's actually a pond right next to this canal too don't get it started decent one right there just chasing me in guys oh how do you miss it like that dude that's just disrespectful bites have not been easy guys so when something like that happens it's a little just a little aggravating Oh my gosh, what? guys, I wasn't recording. I just had like such a cool fish catch, guys. What in the world, man? I keep doing this. There's a bunch of wind pushing up in this little pocket right here. And I just let the wind push my bait in the pipe and I literally caught him out of the pipe. And I just released the fish and I looked down at my GoPro, I wasn't recording. It was like my first cast. That's so aggravating, guys. These bites don't come often so the fact that i just oh it's so aggravating it's all good we're gonna catch some more guys i mean first cast on this pond we caught one i'm sure there's gonna be more the bass was super dark too looks like there's a bed right there as well i'm trying to keep the wind out of the freaking gopro guys and messing me up here i just got freaking slammed though right here i stuck the fish i doubt he'd bite again golly that was a freaking good one all right, I think we found the spot that has some fish though. We've had two bites pretty quick. Oop, there he is, boy. Yep. Oh my gosh. Why am I just getting, I'm getting freaking beat up, guys. Between the wind and just, my GoPro not being on when I actually catch one. <laughs> Me not landing the bites that I'm getting. Sometimes fishing goes this way, but we're gonna have to flip it around here. All right, boys, the wind is not as bad over here. But we're gonna start with this chatterbait and see if we can uh, get them to eat this today. Hopefully we will. When I'm fishing a place, this pond's honestly pretty dang large. When I'm fishing a place this big and I'm really trying to break it down and figure it out, I really like to throw a bait that I can cover water with. Like if I've been here before and I know where these fish are gonna sit, it's a little different. But, you know, when I don't know anything about a place, I kind of like to put on a moving bait and cover water. So let's just hope that they eat it today. pads out there there should be some fish in there you got all these pipes around the pond too i'm kind of working up to this one just tied on this texas rig i mean there's got to be some in those lily pads and if we don't get any bites over here i just have to say it's this side of the pond Oh my gosh, Ike, 
why am I fishing so dirty today? That, that could have been a really small bass. I thought I felt him hit it when my line was slack. Man, I mean, I'm just, I'm fishing like I've never fished before. <laughs> I've been fishing like I've been fishing for about five days my whole life. In reality, I fish three to seven days a week for the last 12 years. Oh my god. Wait. Dude. Something just hit my freaking bullet weight. Are you kidding me? Wait. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, wait a minute. That was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. We should get bit right here. There's a fish right there, boys. He's running at me. Oh my gosh. What? What is it, dude? That fish was freaking going a million miles an hour right there. Got all this wind coming through here. There should be some big fish. that big <laughs> he ain't that big he did eat it good he's gonna splash me it's chilly buddy don't be splashing me <laughs> look at that okay he ate the rage crawl a little black and blue action we're gonna try to get on these fish as much as possible we got a lot of wind coming through this little spot i think it might be good <laughs> he had a fat little belly for how small he was <laughs> right under that bridge, man. Oh my goodness, these fish are slamming it, guys. They're slamming it. I will say tonight is a full moon. And these fish are about to start feeding. I think that's probably why, you know, here earlier in the day it was a lot slower. Obviously, we're at a different spot that I think has a lot more fish in it. But I can tell those fish are eating good. They're not acting weird. They're, they are running odd. It's like they hit it. And then they just start taking off. Oh man, let's keep on catching them, guys. Let's try to get as many as we can right here. We need to get right up on that piling right there. Right there, baby, right in the center of them. Watch, we're gonna get slammed here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we found the fish. They're loaded on these pilings. They're not big, but that does not mean that there ain't a big fish lurking by. Look at that, pretty little bass. Man, I'm just enjoying it, guys. I'm just enjoying it catching them. It's been a freaking tough day. It's like we found a spot that's got some fish. We just gotta capitalize. I mean, this pond lays out really good for some bass. I mean, I, I promise you there's some big ones in here. Should be money right here. front of me and get him to bite. I might need That's not the only one right here. There's a lot of fish right here boiling. Might get on really good. I'm like starting to think if I should throw that chatterbait, but I'm just gonna keep on chucking this crawl right now while they're eating it. If he wouldn't have ate that I probably would have tied it on but I think I can still catch them on this. I can work it slow, work it fast, work it at the top. Working in the middle of the water column. I can do just about anything with this rage crawl, which is why I love it so much. Bait. Look at that. I'm chasing bait on the Chasing bait on the right. They're here. I might need to put on that chatterbait, guys. Don't have much time. Got probably 10 minutes left. We're going to have to hustle. I wonder if this is going to help. Putting on a moving bait right here. Old chatter donkey. This is how you catch the big ones. All big in. I know there's a big one over here eating bait. I know we got an opportunity here. Just put put us on it real quick, baby. Come on, big bass.
Oh god, that bite was crazy. What in the world? <laughs> that was crazy, guys. That's the ones I get you on your tippy toes right there. Oh my goodness. I don't know what in the world that was. Come on, do it again. That's what I'm saying. They're not like wanting this chatter donk for some reason. Even like at the other spots today, I could not get one to even touch it. Which is very odd. I wonder if it's my trailer that I have on it. I don't know, man. They should. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> that is a fat dude. That is the definition of a freaking football. Look, he didn't even eat it. Oh, yeah, he did. Never mind. I'm about to say, it's under his chin. He did eat it, though. Look at that. That's a freaking football. We're gonna chuck him back real quick. We, we just gotta hustle, guys. We don't have much daylight left. It's a lot of activity out here, too. I'm gonna start fan casting. It's freaking raining. It's not what I want. Five minutes, right? that chatterbait right up in there look at that big old mouth on him that's a nice fish baby not a freaking big but that's a nice fish it's a high two pound <laughs> something moving right there This is a tank, baby! I can eat like a top warrior. Mm. That's a freaking meat. Mm. Oh, he ate that sucker. <laughs> that was a good one. <sighs> Guys, that was so cool. I saw a fish moving on that grass. <laughs> that was a freaking three and a half pounder right there. Thank you, bud. Oh, that was so cool. All right, boys, we're closing out the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We had a tough day. It took us all day to get this dang video, but I enjoyed every single second of it. And ending off on a tank like that was very enjoyable. And we also caught our first bed fish of 2022 in a canal. So that was amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button, like I said. And I'll catch you all in the next video.